Hey friends and welcome to a new video. Today I have something very special for you, not only because it's another digital, digital drawing, I can't talk today, perfect conditions for making a voiceover, all right. Uh, but also it's um, sort of a book review, <laughs> kind of. So my friend Noopsie Draws, I will link her channel down below, made this video where she talked about um, making a sort of book art review where she draws something for the books she's made and um, yeah then talks about it and I also saw this on the average artist and I think she saw it too she mentioned it in, in her video so yeah and I thought this idea would be very nice to combine uh, another hobby of mine uh, and my whoopsie <laughs> I just banged my arm against the table perfect <laughs> all right um, to combine another hobby of mine with my hobby slash job and yeah just you know make videos about everything I can and <laughs> put it all out there all right um so the book I want to talk today is not the latest book I've read I've read this one in the middle of um December and it's the six of crows by oof, how do I pronounce her name I think it's um, Lee uh, Badugo or something I don't know <laughs> and the book was published in 2015 though the German version was published in 2017 and ever since that time everybody and their moms <laughs> said that this book is wonderful and I'm like eh, I'm not super into fantasy so I like some fantasy and I also read fantasy but it's not like my favorite genre 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 <laughs> okay um but i figured well everybody talks about it so i might just treat myself and i went to the bookstore after having a reading down for now almost the entire year of 2019 in the 2019 i read like 10 books and this also includes audiobooks so this is not really a lot um and so I was um, killing some time and I went to a bookstore and there was the German version and I thought, oh, well, you know, why not? Just, why not? And I remember I bought it on Friday and on and it has 600 something pages and on the next Friday I ran to the bookstore because I had already finished the book and I was like, I need the next one. I need the sequel. <laughs> and yeah, so and then I bought the sequel, Crooked Kin Kingdom. Um, and yeah, but this is not going to be a review about both books because they really are building up to one another. So yeah, um, so Six of Crows, I'm pretty sure everybody has already heard everything about this book, but please let me continue. <laughs> so it's about six uh, outcasts, outsiders, um, social outsiders <laughs> um, who are well, they live in a fictional version of Amsterdam, which is kind of medieval, medieval plus, I would say. And um, the character I'm drawing is Inesh. She is a, I think she was supposed to be, I think Sinti, the, or Roma, the fictional version of that. And, um, she is one of the gang and then there's Cast. This is the leader of the gang called the Drex. I'm not really good at summarizing, okay? <laughs> and then we have Nina. She is a... There's some sort of magic in this world and she's a Grisha, which is uh, their word for, well, magic user. And um, then there's uh, Matthias or Matthias. I think this... Is supposed to be pronounced German because it sounds very German where he comes from or Norse so I don't know then we have uh, Jasper and Wylan and these are the six and they are supposed to be between 16 and 18 but honestly I imagine them a bit older because they don't talk like teenagers and the amount of life experience they have does not fit for their age so I imagine them like seven to ten years older which Kind of fits my needs more and i heard from others that they did this too so yeah i think this was supposed to be yeah so that the uh, book can fit in the young adult section and this is, might be the reason why the characters are younger so anyway they are um, assigned by some shady um merchant to um 
to rescue a another sort of magician who um, created a very powerful drug that enhances the Grisha um, magic but also makes them addicted it's basically cocaine okay <laughs> it's cocaine for wizards and um yeah they are supposed to rescue him from the most secure prison in the world and then they go on to their quest and yeah but this is it's it's a heist novel but the heist doesn't really start until i think the half point <laughs> so the first half is uh, learning getting to know the characters learning about the world some world building learning about the relationships and then they have to also break someone out of prison beforehand so this is nice practice i guess <laughs> and uh, what I really love about this book is that it's very, very character-driven. I also really like character, <laughs> character-driven stories. And what I also really enjoy is the um, representation among the characters. So we have someone who's crippled, someone who has PTSD. Inesh, who I'm currently drawing, um, was uh, kidnapped by slavers and was forced to be a sex worker when she was like 15, which is horrible. And every time she tells about her past I get this icky feeling about ugh, I don't ugh, it's it's horrible and ugh, it's just really horrible okay <laughs> and then we have Nina who is a, a bit more chubby and well she's a bit vulgar and um, she's also bisexual so this is nice and then we have two and then we have a bisexual man and a gay man and they are in love and it's really nice and also these six characters are not equally but also they are all developed throughout the story and not equally the first novel is more about <coughs> Inesh, Nina and Cass and a bit um, Matthias and Jasper and Wylan get to you know get the uh, attention in the second novel but still it's it's really wonderful and it's just a really really good character driven novel and yeah I really liked it but also it has nice action scenes and um, like I said it has 600 pages and I rushed through it in a week so this was the German version and there were some mm, inconsistencies about words uh, between the first and the second novel which I really didn't like but it was fine it, it was a fine um, translation and it was easy to read and so yeah and yeah <laughs> I'm not really good at these things but um, I highly encourage you if, uh, to read it even if you don't like fantasy like I said I don't like fantasy either but I really enjoyed this um, book a lot and yeah what I'm currently drawing is Inesh throwing a knife at someone because why not I wanted to go for a bit more action-packed and um, I don't know action-packed and more um, you know fluid pose and yeah so I drew Inesh I wanted to draw all six of them but also I'm still on my holiday break and I was lazy so <laughs> yeah I uh, drew this yesterday while we watched the AGDQ runs and watched some yeah video game speed runs so digital it is <laughs> and what else can I say um not much so far there are so many things oh yeah happy 2020 I just <laughs> remembered is it too late to say this now I don't know but yeah this is all I have to say so far and um, if you have read the book and I think everybody has I'm really late to the party if you've read the book then feel free to talk with me about it in the comments and the second um, book that made me cry like a baby <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah if you have any recommendations for books then please leave them down below and also check out my friend Noopsy's video um, who made a um, I forgot the title of the book I'm sorry but I will link her video in the end card if I manage to figure out how and I will also link her video and her channel down below and um, I think we want to do this as kind of a regular thing which would be really nice and if you want to join in then please join in we thought we might use the hashtag uh, artbooktube and if you want to join just use the, use the hashtag and maybe hit one of us up in the comments or in the video or somewhere where we can see it and 
yeah, that would be super awesome. And I will speak to you again someday in the future. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And until then, bye bye.